Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting a brand new series on here called Skincare Sundays where I take you on my skincare journey and we dive deep into all the current products that I am using. Let's get started. This week for me, I really wanted to focus on having brighter skin. My skin was becoming a little more dull. It was looking a little tired. I was feeling a little burnt out. So I wanted to really take the time today to have a longer routine, getting rid of any dead skin layers and sort of just brightening up and pepping up my overall skin appearance. So I'm going to take it pretty light and start with a nice, easy, gentle cream cleanser to prep and wash my face. And my go-to is always this Neutrogena Deep Clean Cream Cleanser. It really conditions the skin. It does not leave a residue behind. It does not feel greasy. So it's something that I highly recommend. Um, you can use it day and night. Like I said, I mainly use this in the morning, but sometimes I will use it at night like I did today. In order for us to achieve brighter looking skin, get rid of sort of that dull, tired exterior that I've been experiencing all week, I wanted to think about how I'm going to exfoliate. And this week I wanted to do something that was a little more gentle on the skin but effective. So I'm going in with Natural Aqua Gel Cure. It's a product out of Japan. It's super popular. You guys have probably seen this floating around the internet. I will say I love this product but I'm not married to it. It's great for people who are really starting to take their skincare routine seriously and need a way to do that that's gentle enough on their skin without any backlash. With this product, what I do is I cleanse my skin because you need clean skin to utilize this product. I know some people utilize it on wet skin. It's a lot better if you dry your skin off. Place the product on the skin, let it sort of not foam but get a little white cast and then you go around in circular motions. You know it's working when you can start to see the product itself pill on your skin. As you can see, it pills pretty vigorously on my skin and once that happens, you can go ahead and rinse. It does give a great effect of sort of getting that first initial layer off. Do I think it penetrates deep or anything like that? No. And I don't actually have any favorite ingredients to note in this particular exfoliator. But again, I'm mentioning it because it's a good beginner exfoliating product for people who may have one or more of the corresponding skin types that I have to start using. So what we've done, cleaned off all of the dirt and outside factors. And we wanna reset our pH balance in our skin. One of my favorite toners by far is the Thayer's brand. Right here I have the aloe vera with cucumber. This one is calming and soothing to the skin. It doesn't irritate. And the number one reason why I recommend Thayer's above all other toners is that it doesn't have any alcohol. If you choose a toner with alcohol, you're really being counterproductive because what alcohol is going to do is it's going to dry you out. It's going to strip your skin. What I did, and I actually don't have any additional packets because I've been using them like crazy, is I went ahead and treated myself to an under eye patch. The patches of choice for me are the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Eye Gels. I love these patches. First of all, I really love this brand. But I love these patches because one, they stay on your eyes. They do not slip around. They do not feel tight. They do not grip your under eye bags into this tight existence that feels uncomfortable. They deliver hydration. They calm any puffiness under the eyes. And they're easy to remove. One of my favorite, favorite ingredients is CoQ10, which helps to fight radicals and premature aging and I'm telling you, these are the things that I look for specifically because my under eye bags, while they have concealer on them right now, tend to be very puffy. Like I said before, it was a pretty rough week, so I needed to infuse as much products that would help me achieve a brighter complexion as possible. Once I put my hydro gels on, I went ahead and I utilized a face mask from the face shop. This is their Real Nature Lotus Face Mask, and the claims are that it does add brightness to the skin. Now, once I finished with the mask, let it dry, and 
just pressed any additional serum into my skin. I went ahead and I utilized Polish Choice Clear Daily Skin Clearing Treatment with 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. I had a little bit of acne starting to form. This is a great product. You can use it daily. That benzoyl peroxide in here is going to fight any bacteria that helps to form acne. I really love this product and it does exactly what it says. It targets and treats incoming acne and calms any current acne. And like always, to wrap up, I always make sure that I target my under eye area and my lip area. For under eyes today, I utilize the Shiseido Benefiance Under Eye Cream. I love this cream. It's super emollient. It's packed with super biohyaluronic acid, which is a great moisturizer. It's easy to apply. A little bit goes a long way. It spreads really easily. I would like to go all the way around my eye. Make sure you're getting the entire orbital bone. So from the inner corner all the way down to the crow's feet and then all the way up into the socket. Do not forget any of that area. All of that needs love. And then I also hit my lips with this just Burt's Bees um, beeswax lip balm. It's nothing to write home about. It's nothing to get crazy over. Simple, easy, right on the lips. My lips weren't feeling particularly too dry, nor were they looking too crazy, so I didn't want to put anything super heavy on. Thanks so much for stopping by. That was my routine for today. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. I will be leaving all of the products as per usual in the description box below. Thanks so much, and I will see you in my next routine.